The latest from our daily newsletter at podnews.net. iOS 15's private relay has gone live, but what effects will it have on your podcast stats and on podcast ad tech? In Sounds Profitable with Miguel and AI, Brian Barletta looks at the impact so far. You'll find that linked in our show notes and our newsletter today or at soundsprofitable.com. Clubhouse has been criticised for not delivering promised sponsorship. The Verge reports that the Creative First programme didn't deliver meaningful stats, promotion or sponsors. We're better off turning this into a podcast instead of doing it on Clubhouse, one creator is quoted as saying. You don't say. Wondery has launched a kids podcast subscription service, Wondery Plus Kids. For $4.99, the service provides early access to new episodes and exclusive access to select episodes of favorite shows. U.S. comedy writer Scott Aukerman is launching Comedy Bang Bang World, a paid-for podcast network. Aukerman launched Earwolf in 2010, and he's partnering with Acast. Subscribers for either $4 or $7 can listen to those shows across almost all podcast apps. Acast CEO Ross Adams told Pod News that he was delighted. That's right, he's one of the OGs of the space. We're super pleased about signing that one, and, and let's see... You know, where that goes, it was reported quite a lot in the press, so we're very pleased about that one. Ross Adams and ACAR's co-founder, Johan Bilgren, are guests tomorrow on the Podland podcast. Spotify has released data suggesting that digital audio is significantly more impactful than radio because of the tailored nature of listening to on-demand audio. They're having more impact on iPhone batteries, though. The company has acknowledged a bug with high battery drain, causing some people's phones to use more than 30% of battery life in as little as an hour. Hot on the heels of Fireside comes Glow, in terms of name confusion, that is. Just as Mark Cuban's Fireside is nothing to do with Dan Benjamin's Fireside, so Amazon's Glow is nothing to do with Libsyn's Glow. Amazon's Glow is a device to help parents play with their kids remotely, while Libsyn's Glow is a podcast membership service, and we're pleased to have cleared that up. And podcaster Tony Lodge has been signed by March Media to an exclusive management deal. Tony and Ryan have achieved 300,000 downloads since it launched in mid-August. And in podcast news, NPR's weekly Car Talk programme has been taken off the air more than seven years after the death of one of the co-hosts. The show continues as a podcast, though. A new twice-weekly podcast will rerun episodes from the show's early years. Launching today, NPR's Book of the Day is a daily quick listen with the best book interviews from across NPR on one podcast feed. The podcast will offer a mix of genre fiction, literary fiction and non fiction. And a genuine commitment to diversity and inclusion can no longer be distinct from conducting business successfully. That's one of the key takeaways from Scoot Over, a new podcast from the Ariane de Rothschild Fellowship with journalist Eamon Ismail, leading conversations about how to make a more inclusive world. And that's the latest from our newsletter. For all the links, we're at podnews.net.